Premier Planet, the hunk with the tree trunks, Chase Gosling. Where are you, where are you going, Justin? Chase, every time we do an interview, you shove me out of the picture. Last time I almost tripped over one of Connor's guitar pedals, almost broke my leg. I wanted to congratulate you for getting taller. I don't know what happened last week, but stay here and actually interview me for once. All right, so Chase, this coming Saturday night, you have a number one contenders match against Ronnie Veronica Metro, your Dirty Boys Club counterpart. And congratulate us. We are a year strong. One year of the Dirty Boys, two title reigns. So many broken bones, and more importantly, so many broken dreams at our hands, okay? So I can already imagine what's going on through your head. What are you gonna do, Chase? What are you gonna do when you have to go up against Ronnie Metro? Ronnie Metro, the man that did the impossible when he went down to NXT and he impressed officials, he impressed coaches, he impressed staff, everybody. I mean, he outworked indie wrestlers, professional athletes. Hell, he outworked Kevin frickin' Owens. And without any complaints from any of the staff, they called him a prince for Christ's sake. But in my view, doing the impossible would have actually been getting signed. So, Saturday night, for, for about the 30 to 40 minutes that Ronnie and I go head to head, we're not friends, we're not family, we're opponents. So if you wanna go and you wanna see a wrestling competition, look at your main event. You can see, you can see Anestra, you can see Matt Vine going, well I'm the better wrestler but we're still friends. That's not gonna happen. We're gonna pull teeth, we're gonna pull hair, we're gonna gouge eyes, we're gonna do everything possible to win because that's how important this belt means to us. So Saturday night, guess what? What? I'll tell you what. The impossible is going to be Ronnie Metro kicking out of me, pinning him for the one, two, three. Gosling out.